Hey, it's Rich Fisher from Queen Anne's County Television and Ken Island Online. I'm here with Carol Ibex, who owns Foundations Island Yoga. What is this place? It looks awesome. Tell me how you got into this in the first, first off. Uh, so it's a backdated story. Um, I was a gym rat, personal trainer, lifting entirely too much weight. I was also an extreme sports enthusiast. Uh, nailed myself 11 concussions, 26 Ooh. broken bones. Um, don't regret a thing. <laughs> So being in pain, obviously, I was about 27 and I couldn't even get out of bed. My shoulders were locked up to my ears and I walked like I was Frankenstein. And one of my friends had convinced me to try hot yoga and I thought, please let there be another way. <laughs> like there's gotta be something other than yoga. But I was willing to try anything. So I went to my first studio, and it was Bikram of Severna Park. Emily Vendemia taught it, and I'll never forget that class. It was hard, it was challenging, and I felt like a new person. It was the first time I'd felt not in pain ever. So that began a really long practice of me doing this one style of yoga for I don't know, seven or 10 years. Well, let's dispel some, some myths about yoga. I mean, a lot of people would think possibly that it's just kind of new agey. Yeah, I'm not that guy, peace and love and flower <laughs> of my hair from San Francisco. I don't know. Like, it's not that. It's cool. You guys have like black light stuff going on and, you know, the, like you've got, it's, it's a fun time besides, it's really whatever you want to make out of it is what I'm saying. But let, let's talk about what your average class is here. Like, what, what do you guys do? So an average class is really hard to say. We have five main classes and literally it's like, here's fruit. Now you have an orange, an apple, a banana. All of them have very different flavors. So you really have to try all the classes to see. We have classes where you just come in and you meditate and you lay down. And I, I always do beginner meditation, you know, so anybody can understand it. Um, to our black light classes where we'll use strobe lights and fog machines and we'll get it pumping. That's cool. We mix in tribal dancing and get the energy flowing. And we have everything in between. Um, we have classes with long holds, classes where you flow through your practice. The idea is that we give somebody a foundation to create a better them. Then they have classes that they can play around with, things that will change as they change and grow with the studio. So it's kind of a working from the inside out kind of mentality? It's absolutely working from the inside out. Um, it's just here to optimize your health. And, you know, we use everything from heat to gently heated, um, from very gentle motion to no motion at all to very intense classes. It's what's gonna make the person feel better. And it's a really laid back studio. So it's not just this silent, uptight, you come in and you feel like you can't fall out of practice. The idea is it's supposed to be fun. We can laugh. It's okay to laugh in here. It's okay if you can't touch your toes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> well, I know most people can't. They say. I can't do yoga because I'm not flexible, and that always kills me because it's like, that's why you come to yoga. You come to yoga to be flexible. you got to start somewhere. <clears throat> right. Yeah. And I always tell people my greatest power as a teacher is I'm not flexible either. I get it when you go to touch your toes and it hurts <laughs> and you can't get it. I get it. And I know the modifications to take you there, and I understand the pain. Um, with the story I just told you, I've certainly been through it myself. So for me to be able to relate to people and and try to get them in here and just get them started is just so powerful. I mean, they have to do the work, but I've created a door where we didn't really have a door before. I mean, the difference between this and your typical workout is going to be when you come in here, you're gonna leave feeling like you just had a workout, a massage, and a therapy session. You're gonna feel like you got it all in one place. And that is how the students describe it to me. And we do have a lot of first time students here, more so than you would think. When I built this studio, I knew I was building it in a spot that didn't really have a lot of yogis or gurus. I knew I was building it where we were gonna have lots of beginners. I made sure I communicated with the other teachers what to expect. So when people come in, it's not quite like the gym. The gym is wonderful and there's a great place for it, but this is a different animal. Um, you start making changes naturally. Cool, well you also offer a bunch of products here. Tell me about some of the stuff you have. So we do, we have a health store 
Um, we offer a lot of various products. I'm trying to get it up to a really big health store, but for now we do um, natural organic protein shakes. We tried to keep everything local and as, as earthy as possible. That's great. I see you also have the spunkware stuff out there too, so you have clothing as well. Yeah, we have lots of clothing. We do spunkware, um, again, keeping it local. We do mica, onzi, we do jade, which offers a lot of recycled products. So we do a little bit of everything. Thing. Cool. Well, we are located in Stevensville. This still is Stevensville, right? It's right, on the, right on the border of Stevensville mm -hmm. and uh, Chester, uh, behind Dunkin' Donuts and Bank of America next to It's the Pits. Uh, we're kind of behind. What made you choose this, um, this, this space? It's a great space, but it took me a second to find it. So yeah. it's, what had this come about? Because we're kind of tucked away, but kind of not. <laughs> so we're going to be Ken Island's little secret back here. We want you guys to be coming to the yoga studio. We don't want to be overly out in the middle of the road where you're like coming in and out. You know, a lot of times you're wearing a tank top, if anything at all. You know, we want you to feel comfortable when you're here. But then, of course, we still have a little bit of vision from Route 50, too. All right. Carol Ibex, Foundations Island Yoga in Stevensville. It's a cool place, an excellent business. Uh, so happy you could talk to us. I'm Rich Fisher for Ken Island Online and Queen Anne's County TV. We'll see you next time. Take, take, take.